Hello there, my name is Leon Troyer and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to share with you a little bit of something that has made a difference in my life. And uh, that is, uh, I want to do a review a little bit on a book uh, by, written by Eckhart Tolle. And the book here is, is called A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. Now, Eckhart Tolle, he talks about the ego, he talks about living in the now, and uh, just being present in the present moment. And a lot of these principles that I've learned, I mean, this is the second time that I've read this book, or I, mean, I think I'm going through it the third time now, so it's, it's made quite a change in my life, and if you're learning to live in the now, then this will be a book for you. But a little bit of what I want to share with you, he writes uh, in Chapter 4, I believe it is, he writes a little bit about uh, raising children or just being present in any relationship and how to effectively uh, grow a relationship. And uh, one of the things that he talks about is kind of form versus being. Now a little bit about what form actually is and, and what it has been in, in my life with my children. And basically what form is, is the life that we live or the, the natural, the things that we do maybe uh, in, in role playing or in, in the role of being a parent. Basically what it is is uh, do this, do that, maybe do your homework. Have you done your homework? Uh, brush your teeth, uh, eat your supper, do this, don't do that, and what do we want to do next? What do we have to do next? And these are the things of form in your life and these are basically the roles that we play but aren't necessarily the being that our children are starving for and that what they want is for us to be present and be real in their lives and just when we are with them that we can actually be present and have the, that they have our undivided attention and that's basically what he talks about here in this book and if we, if, if we only have the form in life it's basically in the human dimension we are being superior to our children. We are basically looking down on them and we tell them what to do and basically it's a one-way street. And this is all part of being a parent and this is all part of being in a relationship. You know, we, we guide each other, we help each other along in this way and that. But ultimately, if, if that's the only relationship that we have with our children or our spouse, it is basically a we are superior to them and there's no equality in a relationship in that form of being if we are in the form state but how do we get into the into the being state and basically that is allowing ourselves be to be totally engaged in what we do with them and and in one way i mean i've been blessed in through the network marketing industry to be able to to go pick up my, my children, be a stay-at-home dad, go pick them up, bring them home, and, and help them do their homework, uh, do homework with them. And this has basically allowed me uh, to be present with them in the natural, in the human form, but ultimately through reading this book and different things that I've done, and I just had to go back inside myself and see if I'm actually here when I'm with them. So it's been a great journey and I love to sit down and now when I do sit down with my children I am able to actually let everything go, maybe shut off the phone and, and just basically be there for them and allow myself to be in the moment, enjoy the moment and uh, be present for them uh, when I'm actually with them. And another thing, another life experience that, that I've experienced with my wife has also been in the same way. I mean, I grew up in a very, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I have three beautiful daughters and a lovely wife, and we're uh, basically a big, happy family. And But it wasn't necessarily always that way. I mean, we had our struggles. We, I grew up in a very strict, form-based atmosphere in, in an Amish community. I grew up Amish. And through that whole mindset that you grew up, grow up in, you basically look at your outward appearance and how things look and yeah people do smile they are happy but really on the inside are you really as happy as you want to be and for most people the, the answer is no we're not actually as happy as we want to be because we haven't learned to tap into our inner being and know that we are okay the way that we are with no strings attached and once we really start
started seeing that in our marriage and were able to actually use these principles and just allow us to be present and not look at uh, the husband as being the, the only one that makes a decision or has the final decision. If that's the only way that you have a relationship, you're always looking down, so to speak, uh, on the other person, and that is not a an equal equal relationship. It's basically a hierarchy of a relationship, and in in our society, for the most part, that's the way our lives are lived. I mean, CEOs and people like that uh, aren't necessarily happier than we are, but they have that role of a higher person, and we will always have that. We will always be superior to some people and inferior to others. But as far as the human perspective and the overall being of who we are, we are equal. We are equal beings. And once we started realizing this and understanding that we are our own person in ourselves, even as husband and wife joined together as one, so to speak, we are our own person. And we are equal to each other. We can both learn from each other. We can make decisions together. And that is actually when you let go of each other is actually when you come together and become as one. And that is that also goes for our children as far as when we started seeing these concepts and applying them, we saw our children in a whole new light and it's no more a, a works-based lifestyle. It's more of allowing your children to find who they are and allowing them and empowering them to operate in themselves, within themselves, without having any strings attached or uh, goals in mind. And then when they don't reach those goals, you create a feeling of, of that they aren't good enough or they haven't reached those goals. So we basically try to let our children uh, live their lives and help them to understand who they are and that they are already who we want them to be. And then and there's no more works-oriented uh, relationship with our children or our or uh, our spouse. And this is really ultimately when um, unconditional love, you can actually operate in an unconditional love. It, it becomes true and real because you don't have any strings attached to what your spouse is or you, you may think that what, she, what you want her to become. So these are a, a few principles and a, and a very amazing concept once you get these. And Eckhart Tolle, he really stresses on this, living in the now. And it does, because it doesn't matter if we are not happy where we are today, then we won't be happy if we have a million dollars tomorrow. It, it will never end. It's a never-ending cycle. But once we become aware of the now and living in the present moment, that is when true happiness starts and that's where it begins. So I hope this encourages you and uh, it helps you to to take your life and your business to new dimensions. And uh, I want to leave you with a quote that I came up with and it's it's basically uh, live, live today to your full potential because Tomorrow, the future, and the past only live out in your mind. So I hope that this encourages you to go and uh, read Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Perfect Purpose. If this is something that uh, encouraged you today, go out and check it out. I hope you, uh, I wish for you uh, prosperity and a life full of fulfillment and dreams achieved. So have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.